There are things I need of you. Things you may not understand. And you may not wish to do. But please, do not make the same mistakes I did. My father, Howard, sent me a letter last year that led me into all this. I didn't get to finish reading because I'm, I'm a slow reader. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Miles. Welcome to a game called Penumbra Black Plague. Gotta turn the game volume down a little bit. The sequel to Penumbra Overture. We got trapped in a mine. We met a dude named Red. Helped us out. Led us to freedom. Or what we thought was freedom. And uh, now we get to see the part two of the story. So it's gonna be fun. If you haven't seen part one of Penumbra, of my series, go ahead and watch it. Uh, link will be in the description. Uh, until then, sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee, popcorn, beer, whatever gets you through these horror, scary games, and uh, we'll get started. Now this game, you wanna play the tour for starting a new game? Heck no, we're normal players here. Without this foundation, you could not have the will to do what I must now ask of you. I followed my father to the Greenland Wastes to uncover his secrets. You had to know how far I was willing to go. This is a what happened in I found a disused mining shaft. This was what happened in the first game. The you had to know how desperate I was. This this is basically describing the number overture. By doubts, fears, and mysteries. And aided by a madman, Red. You had to know how lonely I was. Mm -hmm. I incinerated my best friend. Red told me he wanted to die. You had to know how guilty I felt. Yep. I ventured boldly onwards, and was struck down by my own heroics. You had to know how stupid I was. Yep. All of these things. So human, so perfect. And yet still I fail to do what I must now ask of you. You know what's great about Penumbra? This game came out in 2008. You think about that. 2008. This game, like there was no games like it. Really? Or what, Condemned Criminal Origins, maybe? Maybe? But then in Condemned Criminal Origins, you had a gun. This game, you got nothing. You got a crowbar, sure. This game was really meant to... Uh, basically show how helpless you were, I, I suppose. I'm gonna do like 2.2. I think that's what I had on the last game. That's fine. What's that sound? No. Nope. Does not sound like a someone I want to mess with. So basically, what happened? If in case you, uh, in case you didn't catch the memo, we basically got struck down. Okay, I don't remember that in the game. Can you see him dragging the body? I turned the uh I wish I could turn the this, the music down. I really don't like the music being that high, but that's okay. We'll forgive it. This game was 2007. This game should be uh, retro. This should be. We should be playing this on Thursday, but it's okay. This game is a classic. Oh, I remember what to do here. Now it's all coming back to me. This this was actually really hard to figure out. Trusty glow stick. Between light and shadow exists an entire world. That world is necessary, necessarily our own. Get out now. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, don't have to tell me twice. I will be getting out now. But um, 
What other games were out in 2007? Not many. Oh, right, here's the way we're gonna get out right here. Boom. That's how we're gonna get out. I'm just gonna put this up against the door. Oh shit. I didn't mean to break it. That was a mistake. That's what they give me. But anyway, you didn't hear the guy getting like stabbed to death in case you didn't. That happened. And I'm kind of petrified and I'm kind of nervous now. Take the coin. You put the coin in here. Yes, I know. Crazy. You take the coin and then you squish it. Perfect. You take the coin, then you scrape it, and then you use the coin here. Don't ask how I know that. I just remember looking that up five years ago when I played this. May 2001. I wasn't sure how long I'd been been out, but my head still hurt. Either it had been long or they hit me really hard. I didn't have a clue what was going on, and all of a sudden, I really didn't care. I was getting out. Thanks for the arrows. I wouldn't know where to go without them. Whoa. What is that? That is, a uh, kind of creepy. Is that the guy they killed? No, that must be someone else. I would have never figured that out. Yeah, see, I had to look that up back in 2015 when I first played this game because I really had no idea how to do it. I was like, how do I get out of this room? And it was really embarrassing because I had like an hour of footage of me just trying to figure that out. <laughs> salvation. Fantastic. Uh, salvation? Mine or someone else's? Uh, it's very important. You can tell the difference. No free drinks today, but there are free batteries. But no flashlight. I do have a flare, though. Let's see if I can pick up a flashlight around here. More batteries, even though we don't have a flashlight. I'll take it. It's fair. It's free. I'm still not sure where I am, what I'm doing here. All I know is I've been kidnapped when I was trying to escape the mine. And now it's just gotten worse. Watch your step. I got the feeling like that's not going to hold. Stop whispering. I feel like I'm going to use these. I, that's definitely going to break on me. This game, I'm too smart for this game. 2007, you ain't got nothing on me. This is 2021 now. We figured your, we figured out your games. Oh. <laughs> nice try. Oh. That's not good. It's still locked. Well, that's no worries. We gotta find a way to turn off that. Well, that could do it. Just gotta find a way to, to turn off the, the pipe somehow. Maybe we just throw water at it or something. I could use the chair to get back up. See, this is 2007. 2007 games? Let's see, try doing this in the new Call of Duty. New Call of Duty would give you a freaking ladder. See? You had to grab this chair that you didn't even know what you're doing. And you can't even... You can't even turn it. They knew what they were doing in Amnesia. But look at this. You can't even turn the... Turn the chair back to... Put it back up to jump on it. Freezer. Maybe if I bust a pipe or something. I might have to look this one up. I'm not smart enough to figure it out on my own. 
2007 is smarter than me. I'll, I'll admit it. 2007. All right. Y'all are smarter. Just tell me how to do it. But it's something I forgot. I feel like I rushed this last section. Which is usually what happens when... When I rush something. I feel like I, I forgot something. Well, I guess you got my last node. We're through the thick of it now. If you, like me, have just escaped into the ventilation, we shouldn't be far off from the stronghold set up in the mess hall. Should be safe there. I've been marking my route. If you follow that, you should be fine. Almost home and dry now. I heard Howard's been working on a cure. Maybe we can beat this thing after all. Maybe, when I get back, we'll be able to sort everything out, and by the time you make it through, it'll be just in time for tea and medals. Maybe even some hot chocolate. How about that? I can't wait. I love hot chocolate. Neil Oswald, Chief Chemist. P.S. Careful of the mess hall security. I designed it myself. It's sensitive to organic material. Okie dokie. Yeah, I definitely forgot something back here. Gotta find a soda can. Why the frick would I find a soda can? You had to use the coin to put it in to grab a soda can. Why would you need a soda can? Obviously, to use a soda can to put on the, in the, the temperature and the, the, and then you put the soda can on there. Fuck if I know, and it makes sense to me. What's up, fuzzball? I don't know. Shit, physics. Take a soda can, put it on a thermometer. And that's what makes the shit happen. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Fuck if I know. Apparently I gotta rush. Makes no sense! Okay, it's fine. Good game, well played. I don't get this. What? You had to take a can of so so first, the coin that you used to escape the first room, the one that you didn't know you were supposed to crush to turn into an improv screwdriver? Yeah, you're supposed to take that and put it into a machine to grab soda. Why do you need soda? Obviously to lower the temperature in the thermostat in the freezer so that way you can get past the pipes. Obviously, whenever you think therm thermostat, you think soda can. Soda can right off the bat. That's what happens. I wonder what's going to happen next. Okay, that doesn't look good. Chef Carlito is waiting for you in the mess hall with insert today's specials here. A happy worker is an efficient worker, and only efficient workers will be fed. <laughs> and only efficient workers will survive. <laughs> that could be me if I don't get out of here soon. The name tag says Neil Oswald, Chief Chemist. Oh, it's Neil! Hey, Neil, I've been getting your messages. Apparently, you didn't get out. Patient notes. Darren Gray, male, age 32, nationality Australian, excavation team. First symptoms. Patient reported mild disorientation and was asked to lie down. Mild sedatives administered. Hour three, patient developed a rash on his neck, possibly infection entry point. Hour four, two, or two out of three full symptoms manifested. Deja vu. Patient reports that he has already undergone standard test when I am the only one who could have administered them. Paranoia. I have no doubt that the third, sub third symptom, aural distortion, will take hold within the next 30 minutes. Abnormal noises, even disembodied voices, and alternate personalities are commonly reported in other infected staff. Patient secured, as per archaic standard. Bolted the bastard down myself. We can't protect ourselves from infection, but we can take precautions from the infected. Patient pronounced expired by common consent of all those present. Oh shit. Expiration was caused by an overdose of insulin. I administered the dose myself at 612. Death did not occur for a full 13 minutes. 
three times the expected figure. I wonder to what extent Gray could still be considered a man. Jesus. So we don't want to get infected with whatever these weirdos got infected with, that's for sure. That sounds like a really painful way to die. Are you alive? Warren? Buddy? How do I get out of this? <laughs> Holy shit, someone really tried to keep that guy contained. I don't know what. Yeah, he's alive. Okay, fantastic. Warren, if you could just stay there and not die, it'd be much appreciated. Hey, question. Hey, answer. Not used for food anymore. Well, lagged a little bit. I had a feeling like they really wanted to keep somebody out. Only trusted blood will get through. Well, that's kind of a scary concept. What's the question? Poker tour. Looks like we gotta unblock this way. out of here. dark in here. Cassette tape. Battery. Yeah, Liv, I don't know anything about that, but, uh, you might need to DM me and I'll get more into it. Be careful. freaked out or anything. I think y'all are freaked out. I'm not freaked out. I'm just a little paranoid. That's it. Just a little paranoid. Just a little bit. A 
locked? I bet there's something useful in there. Okay. I need to find something to pry that open with. This will work. Okay. There's like a safe zone at least. We grabbed the syringe or whatever. Okay, I don't think he's gonna check every room. I doubt he's gonna check every room. Okay, there's a possibility he might check every room. Let me just lock the door. Something always tried. Break through the freaking door. There's gonna be something else in here. Like it? What was that my cell? Oh, did I just do like a huge U-turn? I did. I did. I just did a huge freaking U-turn. I gotta go back. This just takes me, but that was my cell. I didn't realize that was my cell. Wow. Big mistake. I'll check Snap here in a minute, Liv. save real quick all right I'm gonna go ahead and end that session there hopefully 
he doesn't come back while I'm doing my outro for this part one of this video. But thank you so much for watching part one. And when we come back, you'll see part two. And uh, hopefully we'll survive this uh, encounter. Cool story. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Miles. We'll see you guys in episode two. Bye.